Hi Atharva. Uh, yeah. Hey Suman. Uh, can you give quick introduction about yourself? Uh, okay, so I am a final year student currently pursuing my bachelor's in engineering. I have a CGP of 9.28 and uh, I am a full stack developer mostly in the web domain. I have created projects in one stack and I also done internships in the same domain as well. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Uh, that's my journey until today. Uh, okay, uh, let's start with JavaScript. Uh, what is event loop? Uh, so JavaScript is like a single threaded language, right? Yeah. But JavaScript uses event loop, which is like a manager in JavaScript that ensures like the background processes are happening in sync and it is not interrupting our main code that is executing in the main thread. So uh, the processes that happen in background, like API calls, the event loop monitors them and when the call stack is empty the event loop puts their events in the call stack to be shown to the user okay uh, what is call stack or callback queue okay uh, call stack it's like a stack in the browser that keeps tra track of function calls when a function is called it gets added to the stack and once the function is done executing it is removed it is like uh, the all the tasks tasks are stacked inside it, which are currently running. Okay, uh, can you share your screen and open any online JS compilers? Okay, one second. Is it uh, visible? Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you declare one variable? Okay. And assign this variable ob empty objects equal to empty objects. Uh, is equal to so. Uh, uh, you are like comparing two empty objects. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like this. Okay. Yeah. And also create another object. Only two equals two. Uh, another variable with yeah. uh, two equals two. Okay. Uh, console both A and B. Okay, don't run. Uh, can you guess the output? What it will be? Uh, uh, I'm pretty sure both will print uh, false. Uh, can you explain it why? Uh, the triple equals to it will print false because it will like, triple equal to checks value and the type both. But uh, as we are comparing two objects, mm -hmm. these objects are not compared by the content inside the object, but they are compared with their references like where this object is exactly pointing in the memory. So both these objects are created separately. So they are pointing to different memory locations, right? That is why uh, the triple equal to will return false. And here also as well, uh, double equal to checks only the value, not the type. But again, both the objects are pointing to a different memory location. That is why it will print false. OK. OK, uh, raise this and create one object with a key pair value like a will be the key and one will be the key of it. Okay. A will be the key and one will be the value. Yeah. Uh, this is right. Also create another one variable B and put the same like be the key and one will be the value for it. Okay. So uh, the content is same yeah. like this. And create one another variable C and assign C is equal to A. Okay. And console. A console. Double equals to B. A double equals to B. 
and also triple equals to b triple equals to b okay and a triple equals to c a triple equals to c okay so uh guess the output for it again here the first two will print false because you are comparing two objects but those two objects are not pointing towards the same memory re reference right yeah. but the third one will print true because a and c are pointing towards the same memory reference here you have you have assigned the a's object directly to the c so both the objects will be pointing to the same memory reference and therefore uh, it will print true okay. so these two will be false and this one will be true i guess okay for object a and b they, they have same key and value is there any way to compare that both the value like we have to get true okay so like you are checking the value inside object and yeah, if yeah. the values are same then you need a true right yeah uh i i think so we can convert it into string using json dot stringify and then we can compare them can you execute it like can you show how it is okay json dot stringify a like this this one will print uh, true because both the strings will uh, values will be converted to string and those strings will be equal okay uh raise this and create one console and put like empty array plus empty array Cons console right yeah console dot move and what should i put in it empty array plus empty array empty array plus empty array okay and also do the same for object like object plus object empty object uh, when arrays are like console they usually get converted into strings in javascript so uh -huh. this uh, the upper will print two empty strings and like it will just print nothing just a empty string and uh, objects are usually converted into the word object so it will print the word object okay uh can you do like empty array plus empty object empty array plus empty object uh i think so it will only print uh um i'm not sure but it will say object because of this and the empty array will be translated to an empty string okay uh, can you run it okay Ah yes, right. Object. Okay. Uh, can you compare n n triple equals to n n and also n n double equals to n n nan not uh, n nan not a number. Okay. Yeah. Uh, triple equals to n a n and double equals to n a n. Okay. Mm. Uh, what will be the output? Uh, I think so. It will be false because uh, when we like assign a number type and we don't assign it anything, a new instance in the memory gets created in a n and uh, two of these instances are not equal. That is why it will say false. Okay. Uh, what will be the type of n? it is a uh, number i think so yes uh, it is a number okay uh, what will be the type of undefined undefined i'm not like sure type of undefined i think so it is like undefined only it does not have a type that is why okay uh, type of null uh, type of null Null is nothing, so I think so. Type of null is null. Null is like a data type in JavaScript. Okay. Uh, 
create one empty object okay create one variable and assign that variable to empty object uh, here and create another object const b uh empty object right not empty object create one object with a key value like a and value for it one first one will be the empty second object it should be value okay and create another object like key uh, will be the same and uh, value will be the two or uh, key will be the different and put key as b b and value will be same one oh, no no two change it uh, okay okay uh, then b of a okay b of a uh b is empty yeah b of a uh, put in seventh line b of a and is equal to assign any string like atharva okay uh, and also in next line b of c is equal to b of c is equal to uh, put any name name yeah okay i'll put your name okay uh, then console console b of a b of a okay and don't use uh, double quotes only put b of a in the console okay and in the line number 7 and 8 also like directly use a and c don't use uh, yeah. but a is a variable above yeah okay okay and create another console like b of c b of c okay uh, can you guess the output um i think so it will print as uh, atharva and suman but i'm not uh, sure if we can assign uh, object as a key Okay. Uh, uh, can you run it? Maybe the object will get converted into. Okay, it's both the case in zoom and zoom. Okay. So can you explain it why? Mm, B is an empty object. B of A and B of C. B of A is a third one. B of C is zoom. Uh, I. I think so. It is the. I'm not sure, but uh, the A and C have similar data types. Then inside B, this data type is taken as a key, and on that data type, they I stored Atharva, and on the same data type, I stored Suman. So Suman got overwritten by Atharva got overwritten by Suman. But uh, like I'm not hundred percent sure of this behavior. Okay. Uh, can you reject and create one console okay. plus true? Okay, uh, so I should put a plus true, right? True, yeah, and also plus false. This uh, true will be converted into uh, integer, sorry, number, and therefore true is usually converted to one. Therefore, this will print one, and uh, this will print zero because false is usually converted to zero. Okay. Okay. Now create one function. The function should accept. string as a parameter and it should return to an object in object all the key will be the the string characters okay. when we send a string to a parameter it should converted every st string character to key and 
in that value it should mention the number of repeated characters like if we pass atharva to that function the uh, atharva name will be converted into object and huh. a will be the key t will be the key h will be the key and for a the value will be 3 t value will be 1 one yeah. okay repeated words uh, and the like object should only have the characters which are present in the string right or yeah, it yeah. should also have all alphabets only presented string oh, okay so i have to create a function that accepts a it will accept a string and okay mm and it returns an uh, object right yeah okay uh and, and it will so what i'm doing here is uh i'm iterating through the string and i'm uh, taking each character separately and then i'll assign the character uh, as i'll take the character as a key and inside the object i'll assign it a zero if sorry i'll assign it a one if that key is not existing in the object or if it is already existing i'll increment it by one like uh, this is the plan right now Return. Okay, I'll assign it to zero if it does not exist, and I'll uh, uh, do a plus one here. Okay, and I'll just return the object. I'll change the object's name to something reasonable like a frequency. count okay uh okay. do you see any bug in your code um uh i think so in javascript this is not how you yeah um uh, i think so you should use or off um yes it's off right i think so it's off okay. frequency count of okay uh, pass one string and console it pass okay. your name only should i run it yeah, yeah. okay it's working fine okay uh 